Hey guys, in today's lesson video, I'm gonna talk about how to swing the golf club like Roy McIlroy, the push draw pattern. And it doesn't matter if you're a beginner golfer or an advanced golfer, if you're stiff or flexible, with the easy step-by-step -step instructions and exercises that I'll give you, I guarantee you we could develop a push draw for your golf swing. And before we get into the lesson video, a quick story time is, is that when I started playing golf, my golf coach was also from Northern Ireland, just like Roy McIlroy. So a group of people with our coach, we went out to the Dubai Desert Classic on the European Tour back then to watch Roy McIlroy play because my golf coach also knew who Roy McIlroy was. So we went out to see Roy McIlroy hit shots out on the range and we got to see him play a full 18 tournament round. And the one thing that I saw was he was a pure drawer of the golf ball. Of course he could hit cut shots, of course he could hit a fade when he wants, but his natural shot even back then was a push draw. And there was other golfers who was hitting a push draw, but the main thing that stood out for Roy McIlroy's golf swing was his hip speed and the amount of upper body and lower body separation he created in the downswing to have an easier way to push draw the golf ball. So just like Roy McIlroy, we're going to focus a lot in today's lesson video and I'm going to show you an easy way to understand how to create that lower body and upper body separation in transition so we could develop an easy push draw swing for your golf game. So the first thing we're going to talk about is we're quickly going to talk about the top of the backswing and what we have to do in the backswing to promote a push draw on the downswing. So to the top of the backswing, we have to have a full turn and we need to have depth going back this way with our hands and our arms. So for example, if a golfer hits a weak cut, most likely they don't have a full turn to the top of the backswing and they just kind of lift up their arms to the top. And from this position, we don't have any depth with our hands and our arms and the golf club is not in a deeper position. So from this position, if I just add body rotation, now we have more depth with the golf club going back this way and we're in a good position. We need that depth because for example, if we're in a steep position in the backswing, if I rotate towards the target of the downswing, we're automatically gonna come over the top and steep in the downswing with an out to swing path. But if we have a little bit more depth with a full turn and if my hands and the golf club has a little bit more depth going back this way, somewhere around my heel line, then from this position, if I rotate towards the target the same way as if I was in the steeper position, if I rotate the same way, now the golf club is gonna fall in the slot and it's gonna come right down from the inside. That's why we need a full turn and more depth with our hands in the golf club if we want to hit a push draw. So now let's talk about the downswing and now let's talk about how to create that body movement and that upper body and lower body separation so we could hit a push draw off to the right for a right-handed golfer every single time. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a very easy exercise. We're gonna hold the golf club with both palms up. It doesn't matter which golf club you have. We're just gonna hold a golf club with both palms up in this manner. And we're gonna get into our setup position. And from this position, we're going to rotate our body with a full turn to the top of the backswing. And the first thing we're going to do in transition is we're going to push our butt back around two inches. So wherever my rear end is pointing at, at the top of the backswing, the first thing I'm going to do is not rotate my body open, but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my butt back wherever it's pointing at, at the top of the backswing around two inches. And then I'm going to rotate back to my setup position. So once again, I'm going to rotate, make a full turn to the top of the backswing, but I'm gonna push my butt back around two inches, then I'm gonna rotate back to my setup position. And when I'm rotating back to my setup position, it's okay to feel like my body laterally shifts towards the target a couple inches and get and you could get weight onto your lead side. So that's not a problem at all. So from your top of the back to the first exercise is a very easy one. We're gonna go top of the backswing, make a full turn. We're going to push our butt back around two inches from the top of the backswing, wherever my rear end is pointing at. At that direction, we're gonna point, push our butt back around two inches or around three to four centimeters. Then we're going to rotate and unwind our body back to my setup position. The second exercise is the same way we grip the golf club in the first exercise, we're gonna grip the golf club the same way and from the top of the backswing, make a full turn and we're gonna make the same move. We're gonna push our butt back around two inches and from this position, now we're gonna 
try to create that upper body and lower body separation. So the reason why we grip this golf club with an open palm out in front of us is it gives us a great insight and it gives us a great feel on where our hands and the golf club is and it's right in front of our body. So from this position, we're gonna go to the top of the backswing and everything above my chest will call my upper body and my ribs and my lower body will call my lower body. So from this position, we're gonna push our butt back and my midsection of my lower body is gonna unwind towards the target back to my setup position but as you can see here my chest and the golf club and my arms is still in the same position this is how we're going to create that upper body and lower body separation and we have this golf club right in front of us to see if we're coming over the top or if we're creating that upper body and lower body separation so the second exercise is grip the golf club the same way, top of the backswing, we're going to push our butt back and we're going to unwind our lower body and our midsection back towards the target, back to my setup position, but the golf club and my upper body is going to stay pointed back towards the camera. Then we're going to feel the upper body and lower body separation. And the last exercise, the third drill to create that push draw feel that we want is to grip the golf club in a similar way, but it's gonna be more towards the grip and right here, and we're gonna have a split-handed grip in this manner. A split-handed grip is something also that Roy McIlroy really likes in his practice. So with this split-handed grip, we're gonna go back to the top of the backswing position with a full turn. We're going to push our butt back and create that separation just like the second drill and from this position now we're going to release the golf club and swing our arms towards the right so one more time we're going to push our butt back create the upper body and lower body separation then from this position we're going to release the golf club and swing our arms towards the right so when we're releasing the golf club and swinging off to the right for a right-handed golfer the release feel we need is if this golf club is at a parallel position and the logo of the golf club is pointing towards the camera the release feel we need is is that we have to have a little bit of supination and a little bit of rotation in my lead forearm and my lead hand and what this is going to do is in simple terms from this parallel position we're going to rotate onto the other side of my body and this is going to be the release feel so now you can see once we release the golf club to the other side of my body now the logo of the golf club is pointed back behind me at this first parallel position the logo of the golf club is pointed out in front of me but now once i release the golf club the logo of the golf club is facing behind me so one more time the last move is split handed grip top of the backswing push my butt back create the separation and once we create the separation, release the golf club and swing off to the right. So if we hit a golf ball, the first type of swing that I would make is I would take it very, very slow and I'll feel the motions. So it's going to look something like this. And I guarantee you, if you work on this upper body and lower body separation and, and continue to release the golf club, we're gonna hit a lot of push draws and we're gonna swing the golf club as the same with the same pattern as Rory McIlroy. So if you guys like this lesson video, please like and subscribe to help my channel grow. And for in-person or online lessons, I'll leave all the information in the description below. And also, if you're interested in a free swing analyst where you send in your videos and I take a close look and I give you my personal feedback with a little short lesson clip if you're interested in that free swing analyst then I'll leave all those information in the description as well thanks guys